Hi! Today, my buddy Kai will be joining us in part 2 of this video, and I'm sure he'll be of great help. We'll be learning about variables and how to make your computer perform basic math operation with them in a programming manner. Okay, but there's already, you know, a calculated application in most operating systems. As ah! I said, in a programming manner, just supposed to help me when I call you into this Programming. Meeting. As far as the computer is concerned, there are three main data types. String, numbers, and boolean. Mm, that is actually not true. Okay, there's also array, dic dictionary, vector, key. Okay, shut, and... stop, 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 shut, shut, shut. You're not helping here. <sighs> okay. You know, it's a... You know what, just go away. Okay. The string data type stores letter, no. word, and sentences. You tell Python that you are creating a string variable by encapsulating the text with chords like this. Here is an example. The number data type stores well numbers. You create a number variable in Python like this. The boolean data type stores one of two states, true or false. You create a boolean data type in Python like this. Now that you understand the basics of variable creation, let's proceed to get them to do something. Open Notepad and type this in. You can and should change it to your name of course. You just created your first string variable. Now enter this line. In this line, you're creating a string variable, but you're assigning a value to it through the user by asking him to type it in later on. Hold up, hold up. Did you just say this is also a string variable? Yes, the input function always returns a string. We'll talk about functions in the next video. Now let's proceed to the next two lines. You are now done with creating your string variables. Now let's proceed to create a number variable. Enter this line. Now you might be wondering why there is this ink thing. This ink function essentially typecasts the string to a number variable. It converts strings to numbers. Doesn't the computer know that this is a number? Well, you see, computers from a programmer perspective are essentially just... Idiots! You have to type so many lines to get them to do anything! And that's why you have to do this. The int variable type is part of the number variable type. For most of your future Python programming experiments, you will probably be dealing with int or float. The int variable type stores whole numbers, while the float variable type stores numbers with decimal points in it. Well, that's it for numbers. Now it's time to move on to the if statement. The if statement gives your computer program decision-making abilities. <laughs> Let's do this. Take note of the column and the tab space. These two features are required for the Python if statement to work. If you don't do that, your computer will explode. Okay, it won't explode, but it would be nice if it does, you know, pyrotechnic. And assuming you back up your computer. And assuming you have more than one computer. And this is the final line of code you have to enter. Save this file as lesson2.py in your Python path. Now, open the command prompt. Navigate to your Python path and type python space lesson2.py Your first program. Isn't that cool? No, it's not. 
Where are you? You don't have to know where I am. You just have to know that I don't think it's cool. Now try to make your program perform addition, multiplication, and division. And I will see you next week.